What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another episode of Around the World. Today we are stopping off at Argentina. Since I got Messi in a pack, this guy commented, do Argentina since you got Messi. And I thought that was an absolutely fantastic idea. So he is the featured name for the start of this episode. Comment down below what nation you would like me to pick next for your opportunity to uh, feature in the next episode. But apart from that, let's get straight into this video. But uh, actually, before we do that, if you guys look for uh, cheap coins, do be sure to check the link in the description for UT Coins for you. They're also selling Max of Points and PSN cards. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into this team. Onto the goalkeeper for Argentina. We went with Willy Caballero from Man City. He was um, he was okay, honestly. He wasn't that good. He wasn't that bad. He made a lot of errors, but he didn't really make a lot of game-changing errors. But if you know what I mean, he's, he's just a solid... Mm, I don't know. Just a really, really average goalkeeper. Because for some reason, goal my goalkeepers do absolutely you know, the bare minimum on this game, it kind of sucks, but anyway, uh, forgetting about the goalkeeper, we're going to go on to the centre-back now, we're going to have Mascherano, and uh, he will go on to that, no, he won't, he will stay on that left side, my bad, uh, Mascherano, 69 pace, uh, 84 defending and 80 physical, kind of a bit of a letdown in terms of pace, and you do feel it, you know, when once you've got, like, somebody like Lacazette or Diego Costa, or anybody of, you know, decent pace running at you, Mascherano will not catch them at all, but, you know, he will, um, you know, if they're running, ch if they're charging straight at him, Mascherano will win that every single time, he's an absolutely fantastic centre back in terms of that, but you know, just could do with a little bit more pace, next centre back to go with him is going to be Roger from Manchester United of course, 75 pace, 79 defending and 82 physical, a really good and fun player to use in my opinion one of the best centre backs I have used on this game, uh, bought him for 9,000 coins absolutely ages ago, I'm pretty sure he's worth like two to 3,000 coins now, 6 foot 1 tall, a really really good centre back to use, uh, onto the left back now we're going to have Ans Ansaldi uh, from, of course, Atletico Madrid, uh, 84 pace and then a lot of 70s pretty much all around the board and you don't really matter about shooting on the left back. Uh, 800 coins, 5 foot 11 tall, fairly decent. Uh, onto the right back, now we're going to have Zabaleta. Now, he actually costs a lot for what he gives you. He really doesn't do too much because of his pace. You normally have a lot of, like, 85-plus pace right backs and left backs. Um, but in this team, you know, there really isn't many good right back options. And I thought a lot of people would moan at me if I didn't put Zabaleta in the team. So, he's in there, but he really didn't do too much. I could have, uh, you know, I would have preferred using a much faster right back. And, of course, with that high, high work rate, he's same, you know, he seems to sort of sit back, uh, you know, he's, he's like, he's always pushing forward but because he's got like 70 pace it's hard for him to get back um, in time for the counter attack but anyway onto the central defensive mid we are, going to go, we are going to go with Perez and he has just got some absolutely awesome 80 to 70 stats pretty much all around uh, 900 coins very very cheap player didn't really do too much got me one assist I guess that's not too bad at all but he is purely there just you know to be that hold up player and to try and stop anybody but I'm not a big fan of this formation I will tell you because you know it, the midfield is just completely wide open yeah, I mean, if I was to show you the goals that I've conceded, they literally just ran from their box to my box and scored. It was pretty hard to defend um, because of the, you know, the lack of midfield. Um, but anyway, onto the left mid, we're going to have Lovetsy, 87 pace, 76 shots, 75 passing and 85 dribbling. Um, 3,200 coins, once again, really don't do much with left mids and right mids in this formation. They're used sort of just for assisting and, you know, sort of pass and move players. Uh, onto the right mid, now we're going to have Salvio, he has got 88 pace, 73 shot, 73 passing and 84 dribbling. 700 coins, he cost me, fairly decent player, didn't really do too much for this team, unfortunately. Onto the central attacking mid, now we are going to have Angel Di Maria, of course, from Manchester United. Absolutely fantastic player to use in all the team. Didn't really cut it for this team, but um, I feel like in a better formation, he would have played a lot better. Um, 90 pace, 79 shot, 83 passing, and 87 dribbling, and 71 physical. Four-star skill moves, 5 foot 11 tall, 155k. That is a lot to spend for a central attacking mid that didn't do as much as I'd hoped, um, but scored two goals in seven games and got one assist. Uh, and now onto the strikers, of course. The first one that's going to go into the team is going to be Messi. And uh said that really weird then. <laughs> I was going to say Messiah, and I thought I went Messi. Um, but Messi, 93 pace, 89 shots, 86 passing, 96 dribbling, 62 physical. Sort of on the low uh, for his strength and, you know, uh, physicality. But, uh, oh my god, in-game he is absolutely superb. His pace just shines through immediately. You'll see that he's like the quickest player that you've, you'll ever use. He's just got some insane physical attributes, apart from you know obviously a strength um but six goals scored 
and seven, uh, six course guard in seven games, sorry, three assists, four stars, Gomez, five foot seven tall, absolute delight to use. Definitely check out the, reac uh, the reaction that I got him in a pack with. I absolutely flipped the shit out, and of course, I can imagine uh, you guys would if you got him as well. Um, but on to the final striker that will complete this team. It is going to be Kun Aguero, and he has got 88 pace, 86 shot, 77 passing, 88 dribbling, and 66 physical. An absolutely fantastic player, costing me, once again, 250,000 coins, quite a lot to, to pay for an 86 rated this year, in my opinion he should be still 88 89 maybe um but four goals scored seven games three assists four star week for four star skimmers and five for eight tall and that has been the team guys hopefully you have enjoyed it let me know what nation you would like me to cover next uh, in the comments but apart from that guys thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it, leave a like rate and subscribe to my channel if you're new today follow me on twitter at scrap and apart from that guys i'll see you guys soon peace